okay. I had shown this before, but it's been a while. I want to show you something that I discovered quite by accident with numbers and their essence. Now, I just want to explain to those who might not understand. Numbers all have an essence, which is the last number you can get from the summation of numbers. Say the, it came to 122, what you added up then the essence would be 2 and 2 and 1, which would be 5. And there's only 1 to 9 that any number can have the essence of. So one day while doodling around with numbers, I use smaller numbers than I'm going to use now, I discovered that any combination of numbers, that you use the same numbers and put them in different ways will always have the same essence no matter how many different ways you put them. Now I know that's hard to understand so I'm going to do one. I'm going to say 45 and 233 and 111 and 444. I'm just picking numbers that appeal to me right now. They could be any numbers. And then I'm going to add them up, which I already have done. And so I'm going to write the answer here. Seven, one, one, seven, eight, four, 1,784. Now the essence of this is to add all these numbers, which equal 20. And 2 plus 0 equal 2. So this combination of numbers here has an essence of 2. Now you take the same numbers but you arrange them just a little bit differently. So I'm going to say 452, 331, 114. Oh, I didn't make that look too good like a 4. Okay, 4, Four, nine, and fifty-one. Now, bear with me. When you add these all together, your answer is one thousand three hundred and ninety-seven. Which, when you add those numbers together, it equals twenty. Which is the essence of twenty is two. Okay, now you can maybe make the uh, numbers not so many of them, but use the same numbers. For instance, I'll take the number 95145, 2, 3, 3, 1, 1, and 4. Four, I got another four, four, and one. So there's not five numbers, there's just three numbers, but they are using all of the same numbers that you originally started with. So when this is added, which I've already added this, so I'm going to just put the number that I came to. I came to this number, 122,897, which when you add all of those numbers in the answer together, then you get 29. And when you add 9 and 2 together, you get 11. And then when you get 1 and 1 together, you get a 2. So there again, these numbers, this, this summation right here, and the, this one, this one, they all share the same essence. I did this so many kinds of different ways. I mean, you could take just each number individually and, and add 9 to 5 to 1 to 4 to 5, plus 2, plus 3, plus 3, you know, just add them all as individual numbers. Still, the essence is going to be 2. I don't know. But it seems that this is odd that that would be that any way you put the numbers together, as long as you're using the same numbers, 
you're going to get the same essence. Now, I don't know if there is a mathematical reason that is really easy to, to determine by mathematicians why this should always be this way. But most mathematicians probably wouldn't concern themselves, I think, with the essence of numbers. Because that's more of an esoteric kind of a New Age way, which by now y'all know that about me. I'm very New Age. <laughs> and I see that this is both mathematically proven, which is not New Age, and it's New Age in that always the essence is the same thing. If I had started with a little bit different numbers, I would have had a different essence, but still adding them together different ways they would have equaled the same. Now you can also even do this. You can take the answer, like the answer to this one is 1,784. Okay, these are numbers that weren't even in here. There was no 8. There was no 7. There was a 4 and a 1. But we're going to add those together like this. We're going to say 17 and 84. Okay, this is the answer. Now, add it together as a 17 and an 84. 70. So that's 11, 8, 9, 10. And 101 equal 2. Same essence, 2. It's just, uh, to me, it's just kind of remarkable that this always works out this way. Also, it was a little bit remarkable that I was just doodling and my mind wanted to go there. I mean, I'm not great with math, I have to admit. That wasn't my favorite subject in school. And uh, I'm not all that much into numerology either. I know, though, numbers do have meanings. And their essence may be very important. And so I wanted to put this out here for those of you who do know math better than me and who do know more about numerology better than me, because this is something I can't figure out the reason for. And if you know math or you know numerology and you know the meaning of numbers better than I do, and I'm sure there's many who do, take a, a, a look at this, how this works out, and see if you can figure out more about what this could possibly mean. Because I'm clueless. I'm clueless. I know that it is odd and it is something reasonable to the reason, reasoning mind because the numbers add up. The mathematician would have to be happy that, yes, this is so. But why is it so? Maybe the answer is simple and because I don't know math that well, I'm overlooking the fact that, oh, that would always be that way. Maybe I'm just really dumb about math. I don't know. I know how to add, multiply, divide, and subtract. That's about all I learned in math when we got into algebra and more complicated math problems. I was just not that good. So, if there's a great mathematician out there that can give me an answer to why this always turns out this way, I would love to hear from you. And this is the Dove Lady over and out.